Weird local, weird local, weird local film festival, weird local, weird local, weird local film festival. Submit your shit by the date below. Keep it under 10 minutes and you're good to go. One entry per filmmaker. And that's for sure. If you got something to show, then submit your shit right now. Weird local, weird local, weird local film festival, weird local, weird local, weird local film festival. I hope I fall in love at the next weird local film festival. Or at least meet my mom. I wonder, if I should submit a film this time, is participation, its own reward? I, wonder, did I eat too much hot sauce, this time? Oh boo. Yes. Definitely too much hot sauce. What, am I doing out here? Is this real life? I really need to get moving on my personal projects. Hey, who's that guy? Okay. Yeah. You're right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to submit to Will. Oh yeah. That was way too much. Too much hot sauce on my chimichangas. Film Festival is coming and I can't believe it. The Weird Local Film Festival is coming and I can't believe it. Maritza from Cambridge Community Television. The staff and I wanted to show you around our facilities, so let's check it out. So this is our front lobby. You'll typically be greeted by a friendly face or two when you walk in. At the front desk, you can become a member, sign up for classes, reserve our equipment and facilities, and more. If you have any questions, this is where you want to go. We also always have our three cable channels playing and a gallery featuring local artists, so be sure to check that out when you come in. And here is our live studio. This is a quick and simple way for producers to make a live TV show. There is a do-it-yourself switcher setup, lighting, cameras, and a backdrop. After a short training session with me, you'll have everything you need to get on air. And right next door is our cable cast room. This is where we broadcast everything. Typically, staff and volunteers will be here to help put shows on the air. And right next to the cable cast room is the portrait studio. This is a special room designed for multiple uses. We have a mounted camcorder, teleprompter, lighting and backdrops. This room is also good for live streaming and houses our podcast tower. We have a high quality, easy to use podcast setup complete with professional level microphones and soundproofing. And speaking of high quality equipment, our closet is filled with everything from top of the line cameras, camcorders, iPad kits, audio, lighting, 360 cameras, and much more. There's so much you can do here. But wait, there's more. This is Computer Lab One. This is where we hold a lot of our media production classes, run our senior programming, and much, much more. And this is Computer Lab Two. 
We also hold a lot of production classes here, but this is also home to our virtual reality setup, an HTC Vive, where members can come and draw 3D images and much more. Through this hallway are our bathrooms and water fountain, but also there are other editing suites which members can check out to work on their projects. All of our computers have a range of media production softwares which members can also use. And that brings us to our main studio, a versatile space that can be used for all types of productions, from live concerts to political roundtables. Members can lead and assist on these productions once they have been trained. Over here is our control room, where the producers bring our productions together through the live switcher and the audio board. A lot to learn, but a lot of fun. Next to the control room, we also have our green room, which is a wonderful space to hang out and relax during productions, whether you are crew or cast. We also have an awesome space upstairs, so let's go check that out. Here we have the team space and another classroom space, which is great. So that's our physical space, but we're so much more than that. If you want to get involved, please join us at cctvcambridge.org. See you at CCTV! <laughs> Leave that in. I just hope I don't mess up. See you at CCTV. <laughs> Does that work? Hey. Hey, Peter. Um, actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What's up? I'm... I'm in love with you. What? I I'm in love with you. What? Really? No, actually, I just wanted to remind you that the submission deadline for Will the Six is September 9th. I don't understand. Yeah, it's actually going to be different than the virtual festivals we've been doing. It's going to be kind of a hybrid of our live event and our virtual event. So it'll be the normal format, 10 minutes or less, with host segments in between on a live stream. It's going to be really fun. But I love you. And tune into the Weird Local Film Festival on September 23rd at 8 p.m. on the Weird Local Productions YouTube page.
local virtual film festival! Coming to you live from CCTV in Cambridge, it's the Weird Local Virtual, virtual Film Festival! Oh, for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, we are a weird local film festival that usually takes place in a warehouse in Somerville called Warehouse 11. But since this pandemic, we have been doing it sort of virtually from our homes on Zoom, but now we're live in a studio! Oh! Oh! How happy are you, Alex, to I'm be on a real set? I, I am loving it. I'm loving the, the air going around. I'm loving the cameras, the lights, the action. Um, the movies, the fun, the microphones are my, probably my favorite part. Yeah, I love the mics. When they come up and they say, okay, it's time to get mic'd, it's like, oh my <laughs> God, what is this? I'm usually just pulling up my computer screen and, and you know, and, uh, logging, and in. logging in. I'm <laughs> logging in, everybody. Oh, what an amazing show we have tonight. I hope you are all comfy, cozy at home, or, you know, maybe you're at work sneaking a little, uh, a little YouTube, you know? <laughs> Whatever you gotta do to get through the night, we're here to show you some awesome local films. Alex? I am really, really excited uh, for the amount of beautiful films we have tonight. Uh, th tonight's a little different than our other virtual festivals because the length has been extended, not of the entire thing, but of the uh, length of the films that we have today. Uh, like we're doing, uh, uh, wait, we, our films are like. Oh, I have no idea. They're, in the, they're in the ten minute range. They're they're not in. Up they're to, not up all to ten. They're up to ten now. Before we were doing shorties. Now we're back to our regular old length uh, that yeah, we used to do. Definitely a few filmmakers out there that have just been you know scratching at the door. Some of our early virtual fests were like one minute length, two minute length films. Three, but two point five. Yeah, two point five. I think we did a two point yeah. five. But, uh, but now it's, it's back up to 10, so some of these, uh, real, those auteurs out there that are making these like featurettes, uh, they're, they're back in the running, Alex, and I think that's quite incredible. Um, it's amazing to be here, uh, here in the studio. Thank you, CCTV in Cambridge, Massachusetts, for having us. Uh, we are a humble film festival. I don't remember how many uh, additions we did in person. I feel like it was like 12, 13, 14, 15, could have been 16, 17, 18 or 19. We don't know. We're we not don't know. sure. We're we not don't sure. Know. I could keep counting, but I won't. The years won't. keep going by and I still can't really read or write. Precisely, precisely. Uh, that, that's that's really interesting actually and, and thank you for the, that share. Um, so, so since we are at CCTV and it is Sweeps Week, um, we just had to make sure that we did this little uh, bump that they can use later for promotional purposes. They have us here uh, on the late night set, so uh, so I think it's. Let me think, I, I tried to prepare for this all night, but I'm not used to it. So <clears throat> so it's so it's CCTV. We're number one. Dance. Okay, so I think that's that'll be usable for them. Yeah, that'll and be enough. That'll be for good them. for their pledge. Um, um, so, oh, wow, we have some amazing filmmakers uh, uh, tonight. Yep. You, you want to read some, some film yeah, titles and names? Yeah, I would love to. That would be um, incredible. So, um, for our block A, uh, we have Sam and Cannon by Ariel Grubb, Waste Away by Eli Stern, Back to Normal, uh, Michael Elliott Dennis, The Bar at Tenjin Wands, uh, Bob White, and they used to call me Crazy by Friday Night Films. And we got four blocks tonight. They're 20 to 30 minutes each. Um, many of these filmmakers, since uh, we couldn't come, come, um, couldn't come, couldn't we couldn't come we to you them. guys. They didn't. Get they to had come. to come to us in the form of a video. Right. Introductory. Um, introductory they're doing, videos. They're doing some introductory videos so they can properly introduce the films. Because back in the day, they used to come up on stage and they would get to talk about their film, and then their film would show, and a lot of people would be there in the metal chairs, and that was our film festival. And now we don't have it like that anymore. It's true. Um, so now we're going to do that. Uh, make sure to leave some really kind and beautiful comments in the chat. Um, I want to hear how much you love the films. I want to hear how much, how much you're laughing, how much you're crying, what kind of emotions are being stirred up for you. Uh, please keep me posted every step of the way for you. Um, we, we really just wanted to make sure that we were uh, inspiring to all the, the filmmakers at home. Um, and that might, might have not be, you might be viewing but not participating. Maybe you're a lurker. Maybe you've gone to the fest. Uh, before the the uh, marker is right in there for you. You can write. 
you can write that down. Oh, you can I just, can't. You can just take that right out and they'll, we'll be able to write them a little note of encouragement. Uh, because this is really all about the people at home that are able to, you're not able I to get... I actually am not. I, like, I, I think it's, sort of, it's really sort of a tooth thing. I think I have to get the tooth it. Did you, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. So, so, so yeah. whoever you are out there. This night's all about you, whoever you are. Uh, whoever this night's you about are. you. Maybe I'm you've never made a film. Producer, that's you tonight. That's you. That's you. That's everyone tonight. That's always been you. You guys have produced the night. You guys in the chat, that's is all about you. Roll. Chat it up. That's roll is roll cam, camera. 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 Roll camera. That's a that's a that's one on one yes. for you. So you Scene. roll the camera. Scene. Scene. Weird, Weird. vocal, lurch, Lur lurchual. Nailed it. Film festival. Film festival. Anything you want, anything you is want your, can be your scene. The scene is you. The scene, the scene is, is you. right now. Uh, take. Five, six. Uh, that's Something. More, that's like a, yep. An eye. That's eye. An eye. eye. Whatever the eye, eye can see. Whatever the eye can see. Scene. Action, scene, scene, action, film. Um, uh, director, yours, yours truly. And that's another way of saying it could be anybody. It could be you at home tonight on your phone, on your uh, tablet, uh, on your uh, mama and papa's old Panasonic. Yes, okay? and so you could be making a, a documentary ab about the film festival tonight, and you could submit it next time. Um, tonight's the night for you. Date is. Today, today. Um, uh, so scene, a day, night, night? interior, exterior, so, all gotta, of the above. Do a script. So the chat's asking for more bells. So should we do the CC? Okay, so CC. So, so okay, so it goes like this. Sorry, <coughs> I can't believe that the chat is asking for more bells, but they are. Okay. Okay. So let's One. start with our hit. Okay, so okay, two, hold on. three, four. CCTV, you are number one. CCTV with number one. CCTV with number one. CCTV with number one. So um, that was incredible. Thank you so much to everybody in the chat. If you have more suggestions about what happens on here on cam tonight, uh, we will make sure to get it uh, integrated into the show. Um, so just throw out your suggestions, keep it classy out there, treat each other kind, and um, I guess what's left is to show block A of, hey. our, of our A, B, C, and D blocks, and, and uh, uh, light, light, camera, camera action! Hello, Weird Local Film Festival. My name is Ariel Gray. Today I will be sharing a film about a salmon swept up on the journey of a lifetime. This is a mixed media film that uses various artistic mediums to represent a fish's changing worldview, including digital 2D animation, cut paper, clay, puppeted stop motion, direct on 35mm film, live action projection, and a phenakistoscope. I am pleased to present my film, Salmon Cannon. Enjoy.
Hello, my name is Ellie Stern, and I'm a director and animator of Waste Away. Waste Away is a surreal stop motion short about a homeless woman who becomes pregnant with a fish and her fight for survival against the forces of nature that threaten to overtake her. It was my BFA thesis film at Massachusetts College of Art and Design, and I'm excited for you guys to see it. Hope you enjoy, and thanks for coming.
Hi everyone, what's up? It's Mike. Just wanted to say thank you and say that I'm blessed to be back here at Warehouse 11 sharing this wonderful time with all of you. And I put a video together to truly celebrate that and something that will just make us all feel good about where we're at. So thank you, my deep thanks. We're here today with a very special, a very important, a very big announcement. Guess what? We're back to normal. Are we sick of going through that whole thing or what? The key to being back to normal is that we all agree upon what normal is. So in order to assure that we live our best normal, Pause the video and sign this document right here, pledging that you agree to go back to normal. Right here. Get your Elton John right here. Yep. Okay, we all need to sign, if we don't all sign this, God. We have to agree that everything's normal. Do you not want to live in a world where you can just go down the street and get a whole roasted goose at the bistro? I tried getting takeout. I brought the roasted goose home. It stunk up my entire condominium. My dogs were howling and I was missing many of the key accoutrements. I didn't get croutons. I didn't get jujubes. I asked for split peas on the side. If I can't go into the bistro and have my meal, there is no way for me to express my dissatisfaction by leaving the server no tip. You can't eat brunch at home. You can only eat brunch out. If I can't have my Sunday goose brunch, then why am I living? And these are the things that I want to forget by going back to normal. So if you'll sign with me, just right here, okay? So, Tenjin Wan, uh, the bump, I'm the bumbling, bumbling gentleman. We have an um, avatar from 3D animation. And um, I'm called on a case, a murder case with this creature thing. And uh, I, I encounter a number of individuals. Uh, but in a nutshell, it's a, it's a film noir set in uh, the future. And there is a moment of an amorous moment on the planet Mars. It's all about the song That last song The song I heard At the bar at Tangen Wands The pianist was part octopus, part jazz man. The song just stays. The song just stays in my head. Coming back periodically. A memory of times past. When I was ever so much younger and faster on the draw. And when 
I would frequently say. Before my legs were taken in the blast, the time when I could dance, that time when I could dance. I was never much of a driver. I intended and rendered and tended to crash. I was never much of a driver My car was always yellow But I tended to crash I had my friends on the fort who would call me in when things got sucking soundy In this strange world, would you believe family and friends, the dearly beloved, could sit around during a surgery or an autopsy? I never finished medical school, but they still said that I was good, still pretty good with a surgical knife. Not something you'd notice right away. But if you looked out of the corner of your eye, like when you were catching a glimpse of a ghost, something felt mighty weird. But in this case, the clue was a little larger than tiny. It was that big, red, sucking thing. Red, the color of earth, human blood. It was not about the case. It was not about the murder. Or the horrific crime scene Oh, the memory of my mad science fiend friend It was about the song It's all about the song They were just nasty, evil creatures. And there was this feeding beast. And they all deserve to die. They all deserve to die.
and I had my bar owner friend and my octopus pianist bartender and there was always this song the song and the sound of the singer's voice the gentle octopus fingers fingers upon the piano keys the song that stays in my mind the last song the last song that I heard at the bar at Tangent Wands. My name is Jim McDonough, and I'm super excited to share this short. Uh, they used to call me crazy. It's uh, secret recordings I took of my dad uh, back when he got sick. Uh, he never would tell us why his nickname was crazy. And one night, um, you know, when he was knew he was running out of time, he, he picked this summer night in August to tell us the stories. I secretly recorded it, had my family do drawings to the narration, and voila. Hope you enjoy. Uh, they used to call me crazy. Jim McDonough, voila. Bye-bye. Yeah. I'd sell hundreds of Sunday games. And every day, five masses a day, all these people would leave their cars in the parking lot. And that was in the old keys in the ignition day. So every day, all these people would go to church. And I'd go up, mm. <laughs> Cadillac. <laughs> How old are you? 14. <laughs> That's a little right there. Yeah. Every day. I had stolen cars a day every Sunday. I always tried to put them back in the same place in time, I got them. In time, before the service. Yeah. Five, you knew one your window. Sunday. One a mess. Oh, oh each oh. mess. Really? Learned to drive. What'd you do with it? Huh? What'd you do with it? What'd you do with it? Just drive around and bring it back. Learned right? how to drive. Yeah. So, <laughs> time moves on. So now I'm 15, and Eddie Broadford and I, we used to ice skate five minutes a week. Pick up the chair. Before we went, we got on a bruise. Should be girls ice skating or at the rink? At the rink, yeah. Could on a bruise car, and you'd find the drunks. So you'd give the drunks money to buy us the bruise, and we'd go ice skating, a little half pint flask. We'd always try to pick up a couple chicks, and if we were lucky, I'll see you. I'll be back in about five minutes. And we'd run on Back to the house. My man of 55, 40, 15, back at the top of the driveway, had one of the side keys. Out her, pick up the chicks. I forget where I was going, but I know where it happened. And I'm driving up the street. I'm looking out the window. And I have to Anne Marie. Anne Marie! <laughs> she sees, she looks. <laughs> Never said a word. She did it nice. Aww. Flash forward again. Almost 16. I get my learner's permit. And Ma's all happy for me because I passed the test. She says, how'd you like to try to drive it? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'd sure like that, Ma. Yeah. So, you go up to the car, I get in the car. She says, the first thing you have to do is adjust the mirrors. <laughs> Poor woman. <laughs> oh, she thinks she's getting to turn the key. 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 Turn the key.
it's okay. <laughs> Pull my hat around the back so you can and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> You're a natural. <laughs> That's good. Oh. That's oh. You're Maybe not adventure to again. Co-host to co-host, when we said, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna play it fun. This is a film fest. We're not on the morning segment anymore. You know, yeah. they gave us the late night slot for a reason. Uh, let's have some ha-ha." Yeah. So let's. That's what this is. What people do this when they. This is what they want. They gonna, um, loosen up. Get yeah. Their shoulders going. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. We're gonna bring back the bells. Um. um so, um... We do want to thank our sponsor, actually. That's, thank you so much for reminding... Oh! oh. Uh. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, thank our sponsor. So our, our sponsor uh, tonight is uh, Freeze-Dried uh, freeze Organic Tomato... Uh, Freeze-Dried... Uh, freeze-Dried Organic Mangoes is what it is. So this is what the astronauts do. Um, so this is like, I'd a like to do that. 2021. So we're both gonna um, we're both gonna try these. these they look any, amazing. Do they have any water left? Do they? <laughs> um, so carbs, yes. Water, no. Um, mm. Only one ingredient: organic freeze dried mangoes. Allergen info. Uh, also Mango. handle uh, facility that also handles milk and soy. So we're gonna try one of these. And um, thank you, thank you so much for uh, underwriting uh, tonight's show. Oh wow, that's a pretty big handful. So. Uh, yep. Cool. Oh, that is organic. Um, thank you, everybody. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> so okay, so thank you so much to uh, organic freeze dried mangoes for all you do. Um, uh, For us? I gotta read the so um, mangoes grow them where you got them. Okay, so um, and I just have to do one more bit. I know we have to. We're gonna we're gonna really loosen it up for this uh, segment, but uh, I just gotta do one more quick thing. Uh, <clears throat> CCTV, we're number one. Talking about laughs. So speaking of laughs, um, I was thinking I was actually. Uh, <laughs> it's alright. Even you saying laughs. What I do you can't mean? Even what are you doing? No, we're gonna do this. I we they can't. told us we we're gonna do it. 
I okay. this I know this is out of my comfort I'm zone too. I'm talking about laughs. So when I like to laugh, when I like to think that something's really funny, I'm sort of a like I, I come out with like a. <laughs> You know what I mean? So what do you so what do you tend we to do? We usually when something really takes me by the seat of my pants. Right. I do it I <gasps> like a sort of like a seat. It's kind of like a Yeah, you hold yourself so It goes up. Yeah. And then it goes a quick shoot oh. out. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, when one of those kind of things happens to me, I'm I I I'm sorry, I do the lawn. Like something takes me off guard, I'll be like <laughs> Do you know what I mean with that? What do you do? What do you do when something is just like, 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 just blazes like so funny, but like really quick? Like you only have like one chance, like one chance to laugh at it. Like what I happened? Huh. And then sort of I like kind a, of I do a thing, and then I and then I you, let the so, smile keep going. Right. The, huh. Oh, okay, okay. Huh. Sorry. But then, because oh, yeah, oh, yeah. it's already gone. Yeah. Huh. Okay, oh, okay. My, so my one for that is, um, so it's like, ha! You know what I mean? So if something's just yeah, like, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? I'm just like, ha! <laughs> Sort of like a Nelson, you know, from The Simpsons? Yeah, that you know reminds I mean? you of half. Oh, he's more of like a, a half. He's more of like a half. half. Yeah, You're half. a half I'm Nelson. a half Nelson. Yeah. It's like, ha! I'm like more like, I'm like the second half of Nelson. I'm like, I'm like, And we talk about <laughs>, laughs. Um, so everybody in the chat, how did you enjoy Block A? What was your favorite film? What stuck out to you? There's no wrong answers. Make sure to just keep talking it up and be be good to everybody. Oh, our producer has a note for us. Yeah. Um, Ian won a special challenge in, in the chat, and he would like you to relay this message, please. I don't. Okay. So I would love them to relay a shout out to Cody Millet and let everyone know that Cody's Candy will be out with a new episode tomorrow. So that's from Ian Wolston. So, uh, candy. So Cody's, so Cody's Candy will be out. Oh, sorry, so, so Cody's Candy will be out with a new episode tomorrow. And that's straight from the chat from us to you. So, so folks at home, what happens in the chat can come through on the live stream. Thank you so much, Taylor. Our producer, Taylor, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, Alex, I just want to talk about these uh, next films real quick. I mean, it's hard to pivot from the amazingness of Block A, but yeah, ha! But we could, uh, so I'm like, ha! So uh, I'm just thinking about the laugh segment a little bit because my laughs are, I, I might have to come up with a few a few others because people tell me I do like a, you know, but it's yeah. just. So, so Block B, so, okay, so Block B is going to kick off with Babyface by Will Jukes followed by Picnic Sisters by Eliza Malecki and Molly Hess. Number three will be NYE by Anthony A. Russell and Michael Swanson, followed up by Ski Dance 3 by Joseph Sullivan, and then Give Me My Family Back by our own Peter Levine. Then, The Little Piggies by Severe Panditrao. And uh, finishing up this block, our second block of four is Big Mug by Cody Millet. So we know that uh, the candy will be out tomorrow, folks. The candy will be out tomorrow, and uh, so so since since everybody's so uh, so bell happy out there in the chat, let's let's close this one off with a little bell song before we uh, before we give you the okay. So ready? Are you ready? So yep. Okay. So. Block B, Block B. Could it be better than Block A? Some say no, some say yay. Some say no, some say yay. Lights, camera, action. Hi, my name is Will Jukes, and I'm an animator and illustrator in Brooklyn, New York, and my film Babyface is about two friends who commit a uniquely American form of fraud. 
So I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Come on, dude. You should do it. Everyone will think you're a legend. You know, I would really love not to go to jail tonight for buying you White Claws. I don't even want to go to this party. You're like 8 million feet tall. Come on. You spent all that money on a fake ID and you aren't even going to use it? I only went in for the group discount. Maybe I'll use it in college or something. Why didn't you get one if you're so eager? I've been called babyface for all of high school. I'm driving this car with a fucking booster seat. Dude, it doesn't even look like me. No, it so does. It's actually kind of scary. Okay, you owe me though. Wait, didn't someone get murdered at this gas station? Apparently people have good luck here. Here, I'll pay. ID, please. Sorry, that happens sometimes. ID, please. Fourteen ninety nine, please. I can't believe it worked. I was totally lying when I said it looked like you. Hi, I'm Molly. I'm Eliza, and we are the Picnic Sisters. We made this video at Berenstow, which is the place where we first met and started creating together. And this video encompasses everything we love from picnics to whimsy, nature, collaborations, costumes, colors, and fun. So we hope you enjoy. <laughs> sit and have a picnic with you on the blanket there the checkers set the mood i just want to sit and have a picnic with you i just want to sit and Clink in our 
This is Anthony Russell, director of December 31st, 2020, and I just wanted to say thank you for including our film. This is based on a, uh, it's a dramatic reenactment of a real experience, and I just hope that our movie inspires other people to come forward about their experiences. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Do you realize that we've been best friends for 20 years? 20 years exactly? To the day? 20 years exactly. Well, How many nights do you think that we've sat out here staring at the stars? Billion? Maybe two billion? Maybe two. More nights than you can count. More nights than there are stars in the sky out there. Do you think that it's maybe a little suspicious that in all these years that we've been friends, all these nights we've spent staring at the stars, that not once... Have we seen a UFO? Exactly. It is a little bit suspicious. Is that unidentified flying object? Hello, I'm Joseph, and this is my film Ski Dance Three. Please enjoy!
Hey everyone, so my name is Peter Levine and I made this film. Um, I've been watching movies my whole life and one thing I noticed is that they, they're not good. So what I'm trying to do is make movies that are good. Um, so this is more of a proof of concept. This isn't the full film, but uh, I am looking for funding. So if, uh, if you enjoy the film and you want to support a good movie, uh, please send some money my way. Um, enjoy. Thank you. I got the stuff, but if you lay one hand on my wife and family, I will fucking take your skull and rip it through your eyeball hole. Without the eyeball, because you don't, you don't have a fucking eye in this world, you fuck. I will fucking destroy you, you fuck. And your stupid eye hole where I'm going to rip your of that hole, cause there's no eye in it, you villain. You're the bad guy, I'm the good. You fuck with my family and I will fucking end you. Cheers. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy cried. Hey y'all, I am Cody Millet. I am the writer, director, um, animator of the film you're about to see. Big Mug. It's about a coffee addict who meets their favorite internet celebrity. I hope you like it. I hope you laugh and feel good. What? Ugh, who cares? Hey, guys. It's your boy, the Coffee Freak. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Before we get to the huge announcement, let's chug a scolding hot cup of coffee. Today's flavor is called Fever Dream. Psychotic inmates who escaped a maximum security prison in Guatemala grew the coffee beans. It's killed everyone who drank it, including the inmates who grew the beans. Let's chug. Oh, ouch. Okay, now for the huge announcement. I have decided that it would be a good idea to have one lucky fan to come meet me. The coffee free beef that follows the link below the video.
Submission accepted. You win. must be called out here. Please, come inside. Congratulations on winning. Welcome to my home. Coffee Freak, I'm such a huge fan. Can you sign my mug? Sure. Wow. When I am not drinking coffee, I like having fun. Let's do some fun stuff. Man, it's too bad coffee's getting a bad rap lately. Thanks for everything. You're really cool, man. Thanks. Man, doing all these fun activities really made me tired. I could use some more coffee. I have a new flavor I got in yesterday called Reality Blast. Would you want to try it with me? Absolutely, that would be an honor. Awesome. Wait here, I'll go brew us a fresh pot. Coffee's hot and ready.
Keanu and Keanu. Alex. I'm Alex. I'm Keanu. I'm Alex. I'm Keanu. I'm. I'm Keanu. Say it. I'm, I'm Keanu. Keanu. One, two, three. I'm Keanu. Keanu. So we got a lot of good feedback over the break. A lot of good feedback. And what people were basically saying at home was, we want you even more loose. We want you so loose as a goose. Like this is the night, this is nighttime. I'm drinking literally hot milk to get as loose as possible. I'm getting, I'm getting so ah, oh singed me that you God. make that real hot. I know. And what did you put in that? Is that coriander? I put a little, a couple things. Is in that there. a little coriander? I put a little bit of sugar in there. The little bit of sugar? Yeah. Spoonful? Well, yeah. To make the couple. medicine? Yeah, I put like three spoonfuls yeah. in there. So I'm feeling chill as heck. I don't know about you all at home, but I feel like, you know, this might be as loose as we can really do for it. We, we came out in segment one and we were, uh, oh, I mean, we were doing our jobs, but at this point, we're loose as a goose. <laughs> we're loose as a goose. And so I'm gonna try the bump one more time uh, the way the audience wants it. So I'm just gonna sort of jazz it up. So, sort of, sorry. So CCTV, we're number one. So that's the kind of stuff you can picture uh, us giving you from now on. That's the, that's the kind of content you're gonna get. We're, you're not gonna get this sort of tight collar, uh, you know, hard looking down the lens. Like, we're loose. We went back to the dressing rooms and we got loose. We did what we had to do and I hope you did too. I hope you know where your emergency exits are and your bathrooms. Uh, but besides that, I want you to make sure that you keep it nice and loose tonight as you watch these next films. Alex, what are you, what are you feeling? I'm feeling a little hungry. I could go for... You want? You want some more of our uh, sponsored snack tonight? Yeah. So tonight is, uh, we are sponsored by um, or organic freeze-dried mangoes. Almost forgot about these little suckers. Uh, and we're gonna have a, a couple more, um, so. The closest, the closest I can get to going to the moon, if you know what I mean. You mean? So, so if you can get a close-up uh, here. So if you can get a close-up here, uh, this is a, a new uh, sort of snack. Um, it's got a, it's got sort of good color to it, uh, good crunch, and we're gonna go ahead and take another try. <clears throat> Alex, yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's, that's something. <sighs> it has a nice little. <sighs> it's got a nice little after. <sighs> it's got a nice little. Yeah. Like, it's sort of like a. Mm. I have to do it in my front teeth yeah. so I can uh, yeah. taste it better if I'm at the I tip can see, of my tongue. Yeah. I can see liking this in space. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much, uh, Organic Freeze Dries Mangoes. Um, we're feeling loose, uh, you're feeling loose. Okay. No, sorry, the tagline is got, uh, grow them where you, grow them if you got them. So we're good on that. Um, and uh, so you saw a whole amazing slate of films in Block B, and uh, we might have one of those filmmakers in the house. Now, I know we weren't allowed to do any introductions, uh, you know, in person uh, due to protocol. Uh, everybody's sending in their introductions, but since Peter Levine is, uh, you know, so close to the project, as they say, uh, we're gonna be able to bring uh, him out. And so, with this little chime, we welcome Peter Levine. CCTV, we're number one with Peter. Peter, Peter welcome to the show. Hey everyone, uh, pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me on the show. Thanks so much for being here, Peter. So are you excited about your new film coming out, an action flick, it looks like? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm very excited. That was a proof of concept film. And one of the things we're trying to do is raise money. We need an editor. We need a script writer. I only wrote that one scene, and we're going to base the whole thing around that scene. Um, but that's all locked in, so we're going to pretty much use a similar style throughout the scene. Uh, throughout the movie, not the scene, sorry. I'm wondering, are you gonna? How are you gonna be able to afford the eyeballs? Uh, well, so once again, I'd like to make a quick plea. If you have any money, please send it my way. We'll again, we can make you a producer. We can, uh, if you're, if you have a camera, that would be helpful. Anybody that has a camera, we could use a camera. Is one of the main things that I wanna um, get into. Is that yes, camera? Anybody who has a camera is what I'm looking for. I have so. a question. What's an eyeball gonna look like? Sorry. What? 
What's the eyeball going to look like? Oh, so it depends on the camera. If we get a 360 camera, you can get all up in there. It's kind of like a full around the world type look. But uh, everybody's shooting in 4K now. So uh, actually, yes, can I update my last request? If you have a camera 4K style camera, um, that's what we're looking for. We're this close to finishing the movie, so but we just need uh, your money and your camera and your camera skills. So. so sounds like you're almost there to Hollywood, as we all are. It's, it's a wild journey. I think America needs an action star that they can relate to. So uh, and it, they want to see, you know, a movie that is like fun to watch finally. Peter, that's amazing, and I'm looking so much forward to it. Thank now, you. Have, thank you, you have for a big, me. Yeah, thank you so much. Now, you have a, a big hand in all this. How, how, are you, how, are you, how do you feel about the production tonight? It's beautiful. I really, you two are, it's really inspiring to my movie career to sort of see how you present yourselves. And I just, I just, I'm feeling the love here. It's so many amazing movies. You know, I, as you may know, I'm pretty critical of movies and really it was quite a night for movies so far. We, we've got a lot of great ones coming up. Um, but you know, aside from plugging my own movie, I do want to plug uh, where we're where we're shooting from. Where, where are we right now? Do you want to talk um, about that for yeah, a second? Yeah, we are shooting from. <laughs> CCTV, <laughs> and since it's sweeps week, we'll give you a little extra one. CCTV, we're number one today. So Cambridge Community Television, we're a public access station in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and uh, the studio is amazing. We're starting to do stuff with members again um, safely. We, we are doing our best to keep everyone safe. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in getting involved, uh, check us out at cctvcambridge.org. Is that an org? That's an org. It's an org. Dot org. We're a nonprofit. <laughs> Thank okay. you so much, thank you Peter so Levine, much. Everybody. Peter thank Levine, you everybody. Peter Levine, everybody. To see yeah. the full Incredible. Film. Yeah, thank you. Please just send the money my way. Thank you. If you have a camera, send it my way too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Peter. That was incredible. He's even <laughs> he's even more fun in the flesh. I know. Sometimes you don't get to see him, Peter. Of course. I was uh, starstruck. I yeah. saw him there, and then I saw him here. He's here. He's, he's pulling there. strings. Is there? He's, he's back in the he's back in the control room already. Do we have eyes on the control room? It seems like a get, madhouse so in I there. Mean, we already missed we have Peter. Eyes on Can there? we get him back again? We miss Peter, and uh, we got we got we got Dylan over there on the switcher, and tell oh, hi. Hi guys. Hi. Taylor's working the live stream, and we got Dylan and Peter. Oh my God, and our camera people. This this event is amazing, and if you want to make an event like this, you might want to consider coming to CCTV. We're number one. Well, um, <clears throat> with that said, we do have some more films on the docket. I'm sure we have plenty more to talk about, but there are some more. We're only halfway there. Peter, hi. Oh my God! That, I can't believe. Did you believe see how he galloped in here? He is made for this. Yeah, they, 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 that's why they He's call him Peter Fun Levine. Levine. They actually call him Peter Fun Levine uh, in in some in some circles. Uh, Alex, introducing the next block. Yeah, so we got uh, block C up here. We got in the waters wake Sarah Kennedy, humanity by Dion. Dion oh, nice. Dionu. Damon okay. and that, Dylan Kaufman. That's one way to say it. <laughs> yep. um, Friends by Gregory Pierce, A Ding Dong for the Holidays, Ethan March, and Buffalo Trail Mix by Triple Yard Productions. So please keep it lively in the chat. Please have fun. Please grab your popcorn. Uh, please grab your cold pop. And everybody at home who hasn't uh, been in uh, Weird Local Film Festival or Weird Local virtual film festival just don't forget it can always be you all it takes is lights camera action
So, Keanu, what yeah. do you think is the most important part about making the Humanity music video? I think just having a strong director that shares your vision. Oh, that's so nice of you, but like, it's about the music and the musician. No, I think people these days want to see what's happening. So. Yeah, but they need to hear the music. No, it's really about the video. It's you look at the, the music. music. No, it's the, it's, the, it's the video. It's the music. No, it's actually the video. It's the music. It's actually the video. The music. It's the video. Music. It's the video. Music. It's the video. Music. It's the video! That was in! Open mouth, go hysterical. That dream had arrogance. Only calling the Ferris wheel? Crash that whip on stage, pop out on scathe like a miracle. The cloud's familiar face, it almost sent me straight spiritual. Yeah. 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 Open eyes, steady rise, hit the grind, make it beautiful. Anyone can do it, the humanity I like excitement, what's a life worth? Land of the consumer might be a long lunar We'll be out of this soon, some might be out of this sooner Without out the acoustic and croon, that's how I do ya Sing the first song that comes to my medulla Bring a little life to the party like a doula I was drunk at karaoke like, ooh, Complained, and I'm going to turn the villagers into piles of dung. I know you have friends. Do we know anyone that isn't dead? Uh, your last guest died horribly trying to escape the dungeons under the castle. You. Well, that. Well, well, I... <laughs> well, that wasn't smart, then, was it? Dungeons are dangerous places, treacherous to roam. You're the one that sent them there! You're a terrible friend! Hmm... Yes, well, I am a sorcerer. Let's see if we can't whip up a little magical ephemera! <laughs> Let's check the cookbook. Have you seen the cookbook? There it is! Here we go! Yes. Hmm, yes. Hmm. Probably. Here are qualities for a good companion. Trustworthy, honest, dependable, loyal, good listener, fun to be around. I need that. I'm none of those things. It appears my apothecary is a little sparse, but with some minor substitutions, we should be just fine. 
All right, instead of uh, trustworthy, let's do emotional. I'm out of honesty, so let's try duplicity. Twice the fun. Finally, I'll add the last ones in for a little bit of spice. That's right. We're going to take a little spicy this time. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm actor and comedian Ethan Marsh, and I'd like to thank the Academy of the Weird Local Film Festival for accepting my short film, A Ding Dong for the Holidays. It's a loving tribute to New Hampshire icon Dollar Bill Burke, who was the owner of Dollar Bill's Discount World and used to hawk some of the jankiest, weirdest merchandise in all of New Hampshire, but he believed in it and taught us all to believe in our own weirdness, and I, uh, Probably made me a weird guy. Hey everybody, it's me, the Dollar Ding Dong. Thank you so much for joining me uh, at the Ding Dong Emporium uh, on the beautiful Riviera. Riviera. Uh, we're at 24 Templeton Street. Look for the 24 sign, which is the number of places that the Ding Dong Emporium has been at. And look for the sign for the Ding Dong Estate. I technically can't list this as a business. Uh, my landlord really hates being named in lawsuits anymore. Um, and there's parking issues, so if you could park a few blocks away and uh, just pretend that you know me, but of course you know me. You're a fan of quality retail discount goods. An icon? I mean, sure, I'll take it, you know? It's hard being both a businessman and just this piece of New England mythology, you know? Everyone wants to be on top of Mount Olympus, but they hate the drive there. I should stop being so negative. It's almost Christmas. All right, let's do this, people. Uh, I, got, I made this selfie stick myself out of a broken hanger. I'll give it to you for eight bucks. All right, let's do this. Here we freaking go. Welcome to my old Kentucky home. Uh, what we got here? Oh yes, this is the buck grab cables. You can grab as many cables as you want, one grab, uh, and you know, you might have a good grab like this one. If you get a good grab like that, that's 15 cables on there. All uh, right, let's see. This is a busted Sony speaker. Uh, the bottom part of it doesn't work. Top part, pretty good. Uh, all right, let's see. This is our home entertainment combo. Uh, this is an Alpine speaker from 1987. So you can uh, listen to the Alpine play Cranking New Jams by NWA, uh, like Easy e said. All right, it is $50. That BO does not stand for best offer. It just smells like BO. This is just me making aware of that. Uh, still a pretty good deal. Why the hell did I bring this out? What is this? Oh, this is a copy of High Fidelity that I put in the toaster by accident after I had a few too many Sambucas. Uh, I'll throw it in for free. 
lot of people ask where the dollar bills came from, and it was from my grandpa, who was the first customer at the Ding Dong Atorium, and he bought a Rubik's Cube with three busted sides, and um, he just believed in me. Whenever I would get his broken but very heartwarming gifts, they uh, just really made my Christmas, and I think about them a lot around this time of year. All right, we are coming to you live from the Dollar Ding Dong showroom. Kids, they love Christmas gifts. Each year they keep on more of them. It's a thing. All right, let's see what's in the magical bag. Turkish candy that was damaged in customs. Great stocking stuffer. Ah, what is on the wish list of every millennial Zuma? A Sony uh, VCR. Uh, Okay, quality. Basically, uh, the kids, they don't like ones with the working play button. They want one where only the fast forward works because they're so quick, these kids. They're very smart. They watch things in twice the speed that we normally do. Sometimes even five times the speed. All right. I don't know. What else do we got? We got anything good for the kids? Let's throw in a bonus for the kids. Uh, this is uh, Mission Kiss and Kill from the Shaolin Dolomite Collection. So that means it will be introduced by Rudy Ray Moore, Dolomite. Children of all ages love 8 to 80, they love Dolomite. Uh, so let's make these kids have a really good Christmas because they really need it. Oh, we can still talk. I just uh, need to eat my low carb bowl. I'm trying to make some healthy changes for the new year, you know, but I'm tired of change. It was hard losing the Ding Dong Atorium and also the location of the Ding Dong Foundation. It was dedicated to finding a cure for whatever made me me or to make more of me. We haven't figured it out yet. <sighs> I'm just really changed out. I'm sick of change. Uh, but it's like the Dao De Ching said, get used to it, buddy. Sometimes with all these dollar bills on my head, I feel like one of those saints at the Feast of St. Anthony. It happens in the North End occasionally. Honestly, I wish I could be like a saint of something simple, like the saint of discount used Microsoft Zooms. Or perhaps the saint of the three dollar bag of fire sauce. Hi everybody, it's the Dollar Ding Dong here at the Dollar Ding Dong Showroom. Um, you know, let's just say you're getting out there, you're doing some distance dating, you met a nice lady. This is your first Christmas together. You gotta give her a gift that wows her, and we are here for you. We're here at the Dollar Ding Dong Ding Dongatorium. See what we got in the romantic pharmacy bag. AM Tai Chi. She she's gonna love this. She's gonna show that you're a morning person and that you like yoga or whatever this is. Fart Camp. So many different fart sounds. But she'll be enchanted. She'll be utterly enchanted. What else? What else do we have? A nice peaceful gift. Thing of light of fluid. Uh, who? What lady uh, isn't gonna want to? Fill her, every time she fills her zippo, she's gonna think of you. You know what, Ding Dong, this is a really important lady. She's very special. You gotta give her a bigger gift. The guys at the warehouse are gonna hate this for me, but I think this is the most romantic thing I got. Hey, Charles Barkley Clock. I mean, to extrapolate on something that Ram Dass once said, maybe we're all saints and we don't know it. It took you all night, but you did it, ding dong. You pulled it off again. It looks beautiful. The kids are gonna love this. Broken coffee maker, what day is it? Well, it's Christmas day, Mr. Ding Dong. It's karaoke time. It looks like the karaoke machine don't work. So we're gonna do a ding dong style, which is shouting over the YouTube version of the song. Boom, boom, bing, boom, boom, bing, boom, boom. If a bell could ring, that would make the whole world ding dongs. Maurice, give me a break. I wish you could understand that at this kooky Christmas time. Hi everybody, I'm the Dollar Ding Dong, and uh, 
I just want to wish a really special day to you and your family and even people you don't know. Just wish them the best and it'll be a real ding dong. And uh, happy holidays. Let's da 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 ding dong 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 make this ding dong bing bong bong boom feel okay. Ba da da dong dong this year. Are you going on a trip, but you're totally wiped out after a hard week at the office? Because every time you try to pack, your legs just turn to stone? Is food disgusting to you? If only there was another way! You need gi Giraffe Buffalo Trail Mix! Hey everybody, it's me Giraffe. You may know me as a media personality, maybe from uh, the many talk shows that I have, or maybe even from having your fortune told. I'm here to solve all your travel tips with Giraffe's Buffalo Trail Mix. My Buffalo Trail Mix is made with secret ingredients to keep you up all night pumping with clean, unpolluted energy, all on your special trail trip. Let's work at those mouth muscles work to the gums. A little bit about my mix. It tastes amazing and it's packed with energy. It's filled with shaped wheat, and it's filled with specially formulated buffalo tufts and other buffalo stuffs. And then it's topped with pencil shavings for cognitive strength. And it's not just filled with lucky charms. I love it. Mm. Mm -mm. You don't believe me? Just as a person I trust the most in the, the whole big world. And Charlie, the janitor. Oh, hey, it's Charlie here. And when everything happened, I had to get out of the city. I was done being a janitor for everyone else. I wanted to be a janitor for myself. This is all I have. They take only the finest buffalo, mill it down into small tufts, and they insert the tufts into the trail mix so you don't even know what you're eating. They can smell it, this stuff. It drives them crazy. Time to go to work. Honey, I'm working. <laughs> Not really. Go. I'm tired. I think I need more buffalo trail mix. Job's done. If that's not enough, here's a video testimonial from the person I trust the second most. Guess what? It's Charlie! I love this stuff. I swear if anyone tries to come and take it from me, they're not gonna get a tuft. Hear that? That's the sound of the goodie bag. I vote Republican. I'm so sorry. If you order five bags today, I'll take another bag back from you and then leave you with four bags. But that's not all. Buy now and you can get Charlie's Trail Mix to eat with. I mean, listen while you, to it while you eat. Brooms and mops and broom and mops. What the neck are you waiting for? Buy this mix. I swear it's not just Lucky Charms with buffalo dung and hair in it. Are you ready for the food experiment of a lifetime? Oh my God, yeah. Oh God, yeah. Oh, what? Oh my, giraffe, giraffe, what are you doing here, giraffe? I, I just saw that you dropped by oh the my, office. I didn't know you played Jenga. I did. Oh, that's, that's so- That's one of my favorite games. I was just watching your film on the uh, on the on-screen display here. What an amazing film oh you have. Oh my thank you so much. I actually was just watching your film on there and I was dancing along, singing Aww. to the beat. Well, that's one of our code words of the day is dance. We're doing a lot of dancing today. Dance! Dance! Do you like to, oh, the, okay. I was just gonna help you get that out of your face, but I, I see I that- I kinda like it there. Yeah, you can you can completely manage that. So, so tell me more about the films you've been making. Oh my God, so uh, that was actually a, a little commercial for uh, uh, a giraffe's buffalo a trail mix uh, for going on the old giraffe's uh, uh, dusty, uh, hairy trail. Oh. Uh, it's actually a, a part of a, a larger big film that uh, that we made uh, uh, from Advanced Education for Average Adults. Oh my it, goodness. It's a little, little piece of that film. Oh my goodness, so you've been busy lately. What have you been up to besides filmmaking? Well, I've been um, uh, getting a lot of shut eye. Yeah. Um, I've been doing a lot of shopping um, online as well for different kinds of earrings and mm -hmm. uh, also different kinds of um, uh, nose rings, even though I don't have my nose pierced. Sure, I can see that. I know. Speaking of uh, getting some rest, I was always I was always wondering, how do you sleep? Do you sleep standing up or do you lay down somewhere safe? I like to lay down flat. Oh, okay. I think that's uh, that's. If anybody uh, in the chat has a question for a giraffe, I mean, it's pretty rare you get to talk to a giraffe. So, if there's any questions out there in the audience, just make sure you uh, send them through the chat, and we'll make sure that a producer gets them into my earpiece. Um, so, Giraffe, I hear you have a show coming up, is that right? Oh my god, I do! On October um, 27th? October 27th! That, 
I don't. Yeah, I, I, I'm so excited. Yeah, I can't say me it. too. I'm so excited. I can't <laughs> even say it. So uh, I have a, a new public access show. It's still young, and the heart is still beating strong. Mm -hmm. um, and it's called a Telepath Giraffe, and it's a live uh, call-in show. It'll it'll be on YouTube on the Triple Yeah Productions channel, and you can uh, call in live and talk to me and ask me. Uh, questions and I, I'll use my telepathic brain to read your spirit and set you on the right path. So telepathic giraffe, uh, te huh? That's the new thing? Telepath giraffe. Telepath giraffe. A live calling show. So people are going to be able to speak to you live, just like just like kind of how we're doing tonight. People are able to communicate with you, but they're actually going to call in. Yeah, they're going to call in. We'll have a number pop up on the screen, just like the old days. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it's a really fun. And then we always have special guests, and then we show... Uh, Films and funny gags and, and boofs and biffs and all, all kinds of stuff. Oh, the boofs and the biffs. Oh, that's so fun. So I, I want to make sure that everybody out there uh, subscribes to the Triple Yeah YouTube channel. So look look up uh, Triple Yeah. Um, uh, Triple Yeah Productions. Out, Trip, Triple Yeah Productions on YouTube. And that's going to be on the night of October 27th. It's going to be the Telepath Giraffe live call-in show. You're not going to want to miss that. Make sure to hit like and subscribe on on that channel, the Triple Yeah Productions channel. Oh my God. And while you're at it, since you're here, make sure that you're uh, ringing the bell, liking, subscribing, getting the notifications. What's up? Oh my God. I would love to. Someone Thank give you, me Taylor. That, someone give me that bell. Okay, let's bring Get this. me my favorite, um, yeah, get me. A couple of them. Is that the yellow one? Yeah, I can get it. Yeah, this, this is one bell. And then here's, okay, well, get that, yep, 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 yep. Let me hit it with my antler. Yep, yep, yep. So it's just going to say, make sure you're subscribed to the Weird Local Film and Festival. And ring the bell. Weird Local Productions on YouTube, I should say. We're also on Facebook and the Gram and all that. We're, we do different stuff across the, uh, across the channels. But uh, make sure you're following along, especially since you're getting that good, good entertainment tonight. Giraffe, do you want to uh, stay up here with me while I uh, introduce some of the rest of the filmmakers tonight? Oh my beeping God, I would love to. Oh my goodness. And then I uh, I might need a little help clapping the clapper. Oh my if you God. Know what I, if you know what I, so if you, have you ever seen one of these? Oh my God, I've only seen it in the movies. Yeah. Just kidding, I've only seen it behind the scenes of the behind the scenes of the movie. Yeah, exactly. This is some real behind the scenes. I, 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 have, I have, I've I've always seen this on the behind the scenes. You I've know, like seen them you watch the, the special. This is like a special features kind of thing. You, you never really see one of these oh in real God. life. But let me tell you, it, it feels good to just to be able to do this. It feels good. It feels, it feels good. Right. And, and Alex is taking a break right now, but uh, she wrote some very nice, encouraging words on here, um, just about how you can be a filmmaker, no matter what gear you have. Just use your neighborhood. Use the people around you. Uh, be inspired, and um, if it doesn't work out the first time, try again. Make uh, another one. Yeah, that's make, what I tried to do. Yeah, that's what we all try to do. And uh, and don't forget, um, I can never forget to, uh, so it's uh, uh, CCTV, we're number one. So, CCTV, we're number one. What so does that, that say? So it says, it says uh, we're number one, like we're the best, uh, we're the best channel. Like, uh, it says CTTV, we're number one. Oh, okay. Oh, you're missing oh, it. Let oh, me, write it. It. Let me so, write it for so you. So the way it is. Let me fix it. So the way, so it's coming across like we used to be number one yeah, and we're not but anymore. but we're currently number one. Let me, I, let I, me think, I think that could be let true. Let me take a fix of that. Okay. All right, everybody. So sorry about that. I uh, so CCTV. Um, oh, let me just what the people want. <clears throat> CCTV. We're number one. Thank you, Giraffe. You're welcome. So I'm going to introduce the next uh, block, and this is actually going to be the final. I can't believe we've gotten to this point, but we've gotten to the final block of the night. So make sure you've got your uh, hot cider extra hot because this is going to be the wrap em up. And after that, we'll uh, say goodbye to you and talk about all the nice upcoming things. So block D is going to be Put a Stick in It by Austin Kimmel, Striker Says by The Velcro Initiative, Tony by Sam Elwood. We got Heshes of the Afternoon by Ellie Butel. And we have The Narcissist by Jim Warren. I think Alex is involved in that as well. <laughs> and don't forget, everybody, it's CCTV. 
we we're we're number one we're number okay never mind we'll just do we'll try that again later and uh giraffe all we have to do is say lights camera action and you can help me with this part lights, lights camera, camera action oh, my nose sorry sorry Boys. Let me tell you a story. When we were kids, whenever you got bored, we would fight. Like if everyone was bored and you had nothing to do, we'd all come together and fight. And it could get kind of crazy. We'd have two by four fights, rock fights, bottle rocket fights. Actually, there was one time we were doing one of our bottle rocket fights and somehow my brother got hit. And the rocket was so hot that it cauterized the wound just as it hit him. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> One day, we were playing our favorite game, BB Gun Tag, and everyone had a gun but me. And they're all saying, get out of here, you can't play, stop wasting our time. So I go back to my house to look for a BB gun, and I ended up finding what I thought was a BB gun, but actually was my dad's 22 revolver. So I came back, aimed my gun, and shot a kid right in the thigh. And boy, that's when everybody started to panic. Everyone is running around shouting, what do we do, what do we do? The kid is screaming and bleeding profusely when in the midst of all this chaos, I had an idea. So I gathered everyone together and pitched to them what I was thinking. And we all go back to the kid and we're like, now here's the plan. Instead of saying you got shot, say you fell on a pile of sticks. He didn't get what we were saying, so we had to explain. No, this makes sense. People are going to think we were using guns and we don't want to get in trouble. And that's when we jabbed the stick into his wound. So from there, we called an ambulance and left him by the side of the curb while we hid in the woods across the street. And the plan was that they'd come by, he'd tell the stick story, and they'd go off. But what actually happened was that the police car turned the corner and the first thing he says is, I've been shot, I've been shot. Suffice to say, that was the last game of BB Gun Tag we ever played. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I did when I was a kid. Just thought I'd tell you. Hello, my name is David Maybrook, and we are the Velcro Initiative. If you would like, you can search for our videos on YouTube under the Velcro Initiative. The video that is about to be shown, I trained for many years to make. 
hard in the gym. The video is Bryson Stryker Studio. Would you like to live in a deadly city as a real gangster, aka black belt? Look no further because it's time for Bryson Stryker Presents Self Defense Training for the Weak and the Absolute Helpless. This is a message to all bad guys, all vagabonds, all criminals. If you come anywhere near Bryson Stryker, AKA me, or my self-defense studio, you will be beaten in, here, 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 wiped out on the pavement. Let me introduce you to a few testimonials about Bryson Stryker Studios. I walked into Sensei Brian's dojo as a directionless freak and walked out an eye gouging karate nightmare. Yeah. Thanks to Striker Sensei, I'm not afraid anymore. Now they're afraid. Yeah. Now, in just one moment, I will bring my self defense partner, Jupe, on over we will show off many karate demonstrations. It's just another beautiful Saturday at Bryson Stryker Studios. Is there someone about to attack me, perhaps? Oh no! What do I do? What do I do? Only at Bryson Stryker Studios. That's it. Now you're really going down. What a beautiful Saturday morning. Sure hope no one tries to strike. Hey, tough guy. I just smoked meth, and I'm feeling unstoppable. What? Better prepare to die, because I'm about to go postal. As you can see, these moves are absolutely devastating. For $20 a month, you can be a top tier black belt, a trainee, but soon to be a mastermind at Bryson Striker Studios. Hit the link below. Hi, my name is Sam. Uh, I'm an artist and animator from Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, I am here to share my film, Tony, which is a, my senior thesis film from uh, Mass Art, which I started last year and ended up finishing this year. Um, shout out to my other 2020 Mass Art grads who have films and real local film events this year. Uh, you guys are the best. And uh, I hope you enjoy my piece, so thank you.
Hello. You got my matches. Got a name? Tony. Antonia. Antonia Marichek. Ain't that a dilly, Mr. Masterson? Sam. Quiet see. Blue lights, music, everything. When I lived in this town, there were nothing but saloons. I was so lonesome, I... I like to have died. Have you ever been that lonesome? How lonesome is that? About as much as you can hold without busting open. Yes, Sam? Make a wish. I went shopping. Any wish you make it, you got it. You feel good. Yeah, I'm high. I had a drink. What was in it? A bucket of gold. The dice came up seven. Tony, you bring me luck. I'm gonna wear you like a charm. Shopping. Any wish you make it, you got it. You sound like you're in love with her. You sound like you're jealous. Could be. Bonjour tout de bon. Merci de voir participer à ce festival du film. Il s'appelle Il a Butel. Le film, Hashes of the Afternoon, vous regarde, mais vous regarde quelqu'un d'autre. Un reflet qui passe et ne le reconnaît pas. Pendez plaisir.
yo. Pray six times, it ain't praise both Kill you and your mans with the same scope Your lanes broke, my pockets longer than train smoke I let your brains flow Fatality, shells, case, you drop it casually You're not half of me, I walk through your blood happily You ever had a gun in your mouth like a cavity? Amiri's got so many rips, you looking raggedy, Lord I kept it calling in the factories Got a meal plus a art Used to sit in my cell in the dark I go to the showers with my boots tied tight, knife sharp If he died, it's my fault I touch the sky with the top off. Top and off. yo, don't you rock a bottle for a half a man? Half a man. Rock nation brush down but dapper dan. Niggas gonna miss you when I'm done with the shit. Ah. The kitchen key begging me to bag of grams. Hey yo, my jewelry looking precious. I'm from the east side, shit treacherous. Word on the street, I got the better shit. Fiends drooling and scratching, max in action. Wait till Sunday. Catch you coming out church lacking who you pray to. Out to see unless I shot the case move. The ambulance playing the same tune. I can't lose. You should have seen it in the lobby at the same region. Seen out of Miami Vice. I left the plate leaning. Another autopsy. Who the fuck shot it? We all shot. At least a hundred shells out the rabbi cocaine spots. Black and fish scale and calamari. Feet fell out and died. Ooze me sorry. Hey, yo, don't you rock a it for a half a man. Half a man. Rock nation brunch. Stab a dab a dab Niggas gon' miss you when I'm done with the shit. The kitchen key back in me the back of grand. Hey, yo, don't you rock your body for a half a man, half a man. Rock nation brunch, stab a dab a dab a dab a dab. Niggas gon' miss you when I'm done with the shit. The kitchen key back in me the back of grand. Back of grand. <laughs> You won't be an option. Took, took the game over like I'm supposed to. Tell you won't be an option. Took the game, game, game over like I'm supposed to. Tell you won't be an option. Took the game over like I'm supposed to. Tell you won't be an option. Took the, took the game, game over like I'm supposed to. What an what incredible if you could make a film. You could, you could do, do it, it all your own at, at your, your own pace, pace at, at your, your own, own style, style at and your, your own home. budget. You can do it. Go out there and try. You can do it. You might cry, but that's okay. Let it out. Young filmmakers, get out of your house or stay inside. Your but choice. film. Yes. Film something. Good. Good. Yes. Film something fun. good. Film something good and film something, something fine. fine. Film something good and film something fine. 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 Film something, something fine. fine. So, so thank you. Wow, that was an incredible final block. Yeah. Um, I, can, I can stand. I'm cool standing. I'm, I'm loose. chill. I'm loose. I'm loose. You guys all told us to be loose, and I think we loose. I mean, I don't know what the people want out there these days. Like, we're we're casual. We're casual. Yeah. I got my we, business, I got my Friday, yeah. I'm already wearing my Fridays into we Thursday, fun. my Thursdays into Fridays. Yeah, exactly, it's a, it's a, what night is it tonight, actually? Fr it's a Thursday. Thursdays it's a Thursday, so But I'm wearing my there, Friday casuals. Hey, one more night, everybody of the week. <laughs> <laughs> one more night, we're almost uh, to the end of the week, ha 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 ha. No, but seriously, those films were awesome tonight. This was a crang, crang packed. I cannot believe it. Crang packed. Uh, block A, uh, Block B, uh, Block Block C, C and Block, block D. D. And Block incredible. D was also incredible. Just thank you to all the filmmakers and also for your introductions. There were some creative introductions as well that were very cool and funny. Um, I laughed. I hope everybody continues to get involved. The chat, the chat was cool. Very, very good people in the chat. I hope you come back next time. We don't know how we're gonna do it, but we like it here in the studio. We do, like it in the studio. Do we like that here in the yeah. studio? We like it in the studio. We like it here in the studio. 
And uh, we have, just have to, of course, um, thank you so much to our uh, studio host, CCTV, uh, who we are indebted to. Um, CCTV, we're, we're number, number one. one. Thank Clay you. Aiken. So, everybody, I hope had a really good time tonight on this Thursday evening. Thank you so much to the people that are here working on the show, the people at home that have worked on the show, all of our group of friends and volunteers in the past. We got some names like Peter Levine, Dylan Kaufman, Taylor Copeland, Stuart Rolke, Jarrett Melendez, Maritza Grooms, Simeon Condev, and Derek DeStefano. Oh my God. And obviously, Alex Derdarian. And Keanu Burr. That's Holy so nice Molly. of you to say that. Um, CCTV, we said. And also, just thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks for the mango puffs. Maybe I'll try one out. You're willing to? Okay, so. Thank you so much, organic kind of, dry mangoes. It does grow on you a little bit. It's like a marshmallow, bit. but Looks like it's sort not of like really. a mushroom. It's got a good crack to it. It's got a good uh, sort of initial crack. No. No. It's. Um, thank you so much, though. Thank you. Yeah, I need thank to hydrate. You so much. I want to hydrate them in my mouth. Okay. Mm. So, CCTV. Massachusetts, New England, USA, world, international. We love you so much, and thank you for tuning in to the Weird Local well, Virtual, Virtual Film, Film Festival. Festival. We'd like to say hello to everybody in the booth or on the cameras. And hey, just everyone. Wave and hello. Say hi. Hi. Everybody in the chat, chat wave goodnight. Would be a great, it would be a great time to wave goodnight. I just want you to see these people that work so hard behind the scenes. Please follow us. Find out what we do. Thank you to all the creative people out there that yeah. inspire us and the other festivals. Thank you guys. Keep keep the film tape rolling. Keep creating. Never stop. Um, we can't wait to see what you come up with keep next time. Keep it loose. Keep it too, but not too loose. Yeah, keep it loose though, because people like loose. People like it laid back. So one more for the books. <clears throat> <clears throat> we, we wrote We're, the song. This took us five years to write this song. <clears throat> Who are you? Who are we? Who are you? Who are we? Who I are you? Know. Who are we? Who are you? Who are we? Who I are you? Know. Who are we? Who are you? Who are we? We are artists of the world. We are people of the man. We are artists of the world. We are people that can. We will be back. We will be back. back. We, we will be back. Back, back, back. We will be back. Back, 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 back. We will be back. Lights. Camera. camera. Action! <laughs> weird local, weird local, weird local film festival, weird local, weird local, weird local film festival. Submit your shit by the date below. Keep it under 10 minutes and you're good to go. One entry per filmmaker. And that's for sure. If you got something to show then submit your shit right now. Weird local, weird local, weird local film festival, weird local, weird local, weird local film festival. I hope I fall in love at the next weird local film festival. Or at least meet my mom. If I should submit a film this time, is participation its own reward? I wonder, did I eat too much hot sauce this time? Oh boo. Yes. Definitely too much hot sauce. What am I doing out here? Is this real life? I really need to get moving on my personal projects. Hey, who's that guy? Okay. Yeah. You're right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to submit to Will. Oh yeah. That was 
way too much. Too much hot sauce on my chimichangas. Film Festival is coming and I can't believe it. The Weird Local Film Festival is coming and I can't believe it. Thirty all Sam how go down to the store, hit up, and you get thirty more. Thirty-four. More you learn, a little gas, carbon monoxide, fourteen bucks. <laughs> more I know. <laughs> well, I know. They the hot. Bring them out. We got we got like 13 to 15 <laughs> filmmakers. Oh, Have to ask the judges. Uh, in Warehouse 11. Warehouse 11. October yes. 25th. October 25th. Uh, you're gonna see these babies. You're gonna see these babies, and there's plenty, gonna more, be plenty babies. more babies there. Yes. Yes. Um, um, so you guys. So you guys. Uh, let's go. Let's go. I went to a sports, went to a sports, bar, sports bar recently, and they said. Uh, let's go with the, the Patriots. They hit a touchdown. They go, let's go! Uh... Well, shucks, howdy, folks. Mr. DNA here. Well, well, not really. I, I just play Mr. DNA in a trailer for, for a film festival. That's all right. I, I, I just wanted to thank you and... Uh, I hope you would uh, do me the honor of giving me, uh, do do me the honor of obliging me in, in in continuing to watch this trailer for for a trailer. You want me to try that one again? Yeah, take it from the top. Yeah. You know. Okay. Is that okay? More confidence this time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get you. Uh, you want to start? Sure. Anytime. Yeah, I I just just think it's kind of strange that we're making a trailer for for a trailer. It's just, uh... Yeah, it's a little weird, I know. It's just odd. Yeah, I get it, but that's the name of the game here. We're, we're paying you for a reason, okay? Well, all right, then. That's right. Let's go. <clears throat> and we're rolling action. Well, all right, then.
Hey. Hey, Peter. Um, actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What's up? I'm... I'm in love with you. What? I I'm in love with you. What? Really? No, actually, I just wanted to remind you that the submission deadline for Will the Six is September 9th. I don't understand. Yeah, it's actually going to be different than the virtual festivals we've been doing. It's going to be kind of a hybrid of our live event and our virtual event. So it'll be the normal format, 10 minutes or less, with host segments in between on a live stream. It's going to be really fun. But I love you. And tune into the Weird Local Film Festival on September 23rd at 8 p.m. on the Weird Local Productions YouTube page.